Uh, good morning. I hope this is audible because, um, well, you know, I suck at multitasking, so <coughs> talking to the camera and doing stuff isn't my forte. So I'm sitting on my ass and waiting for the plants to soak. Uh, can you see it? No, it's hiding behind the fell, or is it? Well, you can see three big buckets. <coughs> and I'm feeding because, yeah, they hadn't had anything the last three days, so they're dry. Um, the reason I'm going to do this, um, I'm doing this video, is because I'm under the impression that you think I have a problem and that's the reason why I said I stopped alcohol well it's not I just have an alcohol intolerance um, and I really do only drink once or twice a year max Maybe three. And yeah, uh, I think I think alcohol is of the devil and it should be illegal. But it's not about admitting that I have an alcohol problem because I've had a lot of <laughs> addiction problems in the past. Uh, this August will be the 30th anniversary of me not being addicted. And, um, well, yeah, there are lots of drugs, but 30 years ago, I quit using heroin and crack. So I'm the first to admit that I'm an addict. And, well, you can stop using drugs, but you're never recovering, ever. It's the same as with people uh, that stop alcohol. Yeah, I'm a recovering alcoholic. No, you're not. You just don't drink anymore. Same as with me. I don't, uh, I don't smoke heroin anymore. I don't smoke crack anymore. But as soon as I start, well, it's the end of the line. Because I do everything in excess. <coughs> I think Steven Tyler and Keith Moon would have been very, very proud of me because I could use a lot of drugs. I've OD three times and my then junkie friends didn't thought it was necessary to bring me to the hospital so they did it in their own junkie way and that is hitting someone in, <laughs> in the head as, <laughs> as much as possible to get him awake again. So yay. Do I regret it? No, absolutely not. It's been five years of yeah, fun and hell, but it may be to what I am today. And yeah, you learn about yourself. So what I wanted to say is I'm not an alcoholic. I never will be because I've seen the, the problems with alcohol in my own family. My dad was an alcoholic. Uh, my uncle was an alcoholic and he literally dr uh, drank himself to death, so now yeah, the rest is also deadly because <coughs> I've seen people die next to me because they made the wrong uh, yeah, a procedure error in administering heroin through a syringe. And that's something I've never done. I don't like needles. And what I was saying, you never recover. It's as simple as that. You do so much damage to your body that your body can't, uh, yeah, it can't keep up, even after you stop using. And I did it cold turkey. And that's also not a really special feat. Uh, it means you have to crawl uh, on your hands and knees for a few days because everything hurts and then it's over. The hard part is staying off drugs. And that's, uh, that's the hard part of staying off alcohol for some people or tobacco, which I really, really want to quit. You can 
buy the stuff everywhere, literally everywhere. On every corner of the street there's an alcohol shop or a tobacco shop. So, yay. But like I said, I had a lot of fun. If I could do it all again, I would. I wouldn't have it any other way. And the reason I got off so easy is purely the fact that I still had friends and family. Because that's usually the first thing to go when you, well, an alcoholic can go into a bar and meet his friends there. But as soon as you get addicted to hard drugs, that's a, uh, yeah, a subculture, a really, really hidden subculture. And after a while, uh, your money um, can't keep up with your using, so you start cheating, lying, stealing, and the first people you do that from are friends and family. And I never did that. And all my friends and my family were all, uh, they, they all knew I was addicted. My mom even gave me some, some money when I got home. And she said, don't buy it, or don't, don't buy heroin from it. Yes, mom. And as soon as I got home, I bought heroin. And at a certain point, you don't have anybody else. You have just yourself. Because a junkie friend isn't a friend, he will turn on you in an instant if it means he can use more than you. And yeah, getting getting the junk out of the out of the scene is the hardest part. Stopping with drugs isn't that hard. You just have to do it. And at a certain point, um, I woke up, and at that point, I was dealing. Because, yeah, uh, I did some burglaring and stuff and stealing and, yeah, at a certain point that doesn't bring enough money in. So I started dealing and, well, the easiest way to make money is getting paid in heroin or cocaine. And it was about 7 o'clock in the morning and I already had a, a full gram of crack. That went through the pipe and I needed to go to the bathroom and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was looking at a ghost, really. I'm not a husky guy. At the moment I weigh 72 kilograms, but at that moment I weighed 47 kilograms. That's about uh, less than 100 pounds, a little over 95 I think. And that's when the realization hit me and I called my dealer, I gave him all the stuff I was supposed to sell that day, I locked myself in the house, uh, didn't open for anyone for a week and after that I left everything in the house, I just went, <coughs> fuck them, all my stuff and all my furniture and what not, I just left it. I went to my mom and dad and they just found out there was a little tiny farmhouse for rent in the, in the village I was born. So that's where I uh, went. And that's how I got off drugs. But again, you never get off drugs. You just stop using them. It will always be a problem. So yay, I'm not admitting I'm an alcoholic, but I'm gladly admitting I was a heroin addict. It was fun, yeah, absolutely. And I don't think I have a, an addictive personality. I like having fun. That's for sure. But I've never been addicted to gambling. It really doesn't interest me. Or anything else that can be addictive. Well, everything can be addictive. When I... Uh, the first few, few years after I quit, 
with uh, crack because heroin isn't that uh, it heroin only works on your body and once your body has gone through withdrawal well yeah it's basically done uh, but crack cocaine or all cocaine is uh, mentally really hard to get rid of and in the first few years after I quit I got really shaky and trembly when my sugar ran out and I can't figure out why because well yeah it's sugar but sugar is incredibly addictive and it has the same properties in your brain as cocaine does so yay <laughs> so I stopped using sugar for a while and I'm using too much sugar now but okay so yeah this is a bit of a, a bit of a jumbled mess I'm not even sure why I'm am I why am why I am doing this damn <sighs> and yes even orchids can be addictive because every time my budget comes the first thing I do is hey what kind of orchid can I buy so yes <sighs> basically going to the toilet can be an addiction if you're weird enough um, Anything else? Well, no. Don't regret it. Would do it again. And probably kill myself. Yeah. The only weird thing I got out of it is that I can't stand the, the smell of ammonia. And that's because we used to clean our cocaine in it. You take a, a spoonful of ammonia, chuck in the cocaine, heat it up until it starts to boil. And then you have base, also known as crack. And it's called crack because it makes a crackling sound when you put it in a pipe. That's why it's called crack. But yay, that's just, yeah, that's the only thing. I never crave. I just hate ammonia. And it's silly. Yeah, well, you're using something bad, so cleaning it with something even worse, yeah. What harm could it do? And <laughs> in the beginning, I cleaned it uh, again with water to get any ammonia residue out of it. And at a certain point, yeah, yeah screw it, smoke it, even when it's wet, so yay. That's what I meant when I said when I turned 50, I should have been dead already. It's a surprise I made it this far. All the stupid stuff I did. <coughs> but yay. So I hope this is um, clear. And I already lost two uh, subscribers. Did I tell that? Mm, yeah, probably at the beginning of the video. So yay. How many more will I lose with this video? Well, yeah, I really don't care. I have a nice, safe and friendly orchid group and I think it's a million times better than uh, going to some orchid meeting once a week and meeting people that, eh, no, I don't like you, I don't like you and you don't like me, you don't like me. No, it's not for me. I'm a loner. And I always was and always will be. So that's it for today. A, a very long chat about me not being an alcoholic. And telling you about my <laughs> addiction. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I have the balls to upload this. We'll see. Later.